what we want to do is uh, grab a free tool that's going to take our website and speed it up. Now, this is from uh, Google Code as well. We find a lot of cool uh, applications on Google Code. And it's called Smart Optimizer. And it does a lot of things to your website. Uh, one of the things it does is minifies your source code. So JavaScript, uh, CSS, it uses uh, minifying technology to basically shrink those files. You're able to make those files a lot smaller. But this is not something that you have to actually run on your, compu on your computer and then upload your new files. Or you don't have to uh, convert your files to minified source and then upload them to your server or anything like that. It actually does it on the fly. So your files on the server are raw. As your site is being loaded, it's going to create the minified version, cache it, and then automatically send those cached versions to uh, the site viewers, giving them the simulation of the site is loading a lot faster. Not only is, are the files minim, uh, minified, there's a fancy word for you, uh, but they're also compressed using uh, tar.gz. So uh, no having to set things up on your server. It's a perfect solution if you use shared hosting uh, because you can get things like minification and uh, compression without having to change anything on the server end. So in order to uh, do this demonstration, I'm, I, I promise you it's not shameless self-promotion, but I just needed a website that is slow loading. So I've got uh, my website here, robbieferguson.net. And you'll see, now I was talking a little bit about uh, Firebug just a little bit earlier. Someone in the chat room was mentioning it. And I've got the plugin Why Slow set up on my website, or on my uh, Firefox. So what Why Slow does is it tells us, gives us a ranking basically a percentage of how well our site is performing. And you can see that the overall performance score of this website is a C, with my overall performance score rating at 77. So that tells us that you know it's not horribly slow, but it could be a lot better. So what kind of difference can we have, can we make, with just a simple download and upload this program and uh, make a quick change? Uh, I'm going to actually do that right now just to show you how simple this is. And uh, you'll be able to follow through and, and get access to this software as well. So Smart Optimizer, again, is code.google.com slash p slash Smart Optimizer. So when you're there, we're going to click on Downloads, grab the latest version, which currently, at the time of this broadcast, is 1.7 beta. And then I'm going to open that with my Archive Manager in Ubuntu. If you're using a different operating system, uh, you can open tar.gz files with uh, 7-zip which is a free program. So now I want to extract these files. So now you notice that I've just highlighted two. I've highlighted the folder Smart Optimizer and the file htaccess, which is a hidden file with a dot before it. And you'll understand that in just a moment. You can read the readmes and things like that, of course, but we're not, we don't need them. So now I've extracted those to the folder temp, TMP. You can put them wherever you like. I thought I did. Sometimes I get confused. Try it again. Nevermind says give GWT <laughs> a try. What is that? I don't know. Well, you read it. you got to understand. What does give it say? Give GWT a try. Quit. Good. Um, we need more details on yeah, GWT, we'll just... Evermind. But she'll still read it out. So you can tell her anything. Try, give, give PRS a try. She'll read it. <laughs> okay. you know, there's lots of things that I haven't read. Oh, about. okay. <laughs> All those things that they say about me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here. We go. Double clicking on TMP. Ah, oh, get That's, with it. GWT. Yeah, that's the way. I did it right this time. Show the files. So now when I show that folder, <gasps> Smart Optimizer. Now you notice that in that folder, the HT Access file, even though I told it to uh, to decompress it, is not there. That's because it's a hidden file. So I hit Control H. You'll see also my backup files from the files I was working on earlier. I can delete those. So I've got my hidden HT access file. Again, Control H hides or shows hidden files in Linux. So now all I need is these two, two things. So this folder here needs to be uploaded to the root of my server and the HT access file. But we don't want to directly upload that HT access file. Because if you're using search engine safe URLs, things like that, and you upload the HT access file, you might overwrite your existing HT access file. So you need to know that you don't have one if you're going to do it that way. But we'll get to that in just a second. So let's look at how simple it is to get our site to perform better. I'm going to bring up FileZilla, which is a free uh, FTP client, and just remote into my server. 
<clears throat> and literally doing this live, like I'm actually bringing everything up live, nothing is prepped, because I want you to see step by step not only how easy this is, but also how it's, it's something that you can, you can easily do, and it's something that's actually going to improve performance. I'm not doing anything that you're not seeing uh, to improve performance on this website. So now I'm going to go into my home folder for that website. So now I've got the folder up for RobbieFerguson.net. And this is a Joomla website. So you can see, so some people have said, well, how do you get it to work on Joomla? Well, it works the same no matter what kind of site you're using. As long as your server is Apache, because it needs to be able to support HT access, and as long as your, um, your uh, server has PHP installed, then you should be fine. And there are other uh, variables there. Read the README, and uh, that'll tell you. So now I want to upload those, those two things. First of all, Smart Optimizer first. Don't grab that HT access file. I'm going to grab it and drop it onto my folder tree, and that's going to automatically upload it to my server. And there we go, it's there. So now you see a folder called Smart Optimizer. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to uh, check the permissions on cache if you like. So far it looks okay, it's 755, so it has right access for the owner. Um, it should have that out of the box. But what we want to do is check if you already have an HT access file. I don't. So I'm safe to simply upload that file. If you already have an HT access file, then what you need to do is you need to copy the contents of the new one and paste them into your existing file because you don't want to break your existing site so you need to be careful of that. So you can bring up this HT access file, you can see it's just plain text and you can copy it and then you can edit the one that's on your server and paste this information to the header of that. In my case I don't currently have one so I'm just going to upload that straight to my site. If you had one it would prompt you for an overwrite most likely. So now that's all there is to it. The, uh, this, the smart optimizer is installed on my site. If there was a problem with write permissions on the cache folder, right now as I refresh, I would get an error. So if you get an error in this, time, in this moment, so you refresh your site and suddenly there's an error with uh, accessing your site, it will say that there's a problem writing to your cache folder, then what you need to do is get back into FileZilla or whatever client you're using, get up to your Smart Optimizer, right-click on Cache, and some servers may require you to set uh, write permissions to 777. We don't generally like to do that, and I'm not going to do that because my server obviously doesn't require that, but some servers may force you to have to do that. What that means is that your cache folder is going to be writable. So now that's all there was to it. I'm going to refresh my site with a Control F5 to dump my cache, and this is going to grab everything the first time it loads. It's actually caching everything uh, onto the server. And now I'll refresh again to get a, a kind of a bird's eye view with Y slow uh, to see how the site is loading. And let's take a look. As Firefox box out on me. There we go. Okay, we're getting all these kinds of graphs, that's why. So, our grade has gone from 77 in that small amount of upgrade, has gone to a B from a C, and our overall performance score is now up to 86. So you can see the benefit of something as simple as that. All we had to do was upload two files, like a folder and a file. Set a couple permissions, and we're good to go. And that's a Joomla site very uncomplicated. So highly recommended. It is called Smart Optimizer and the links, everything that you saw there uh, will be available in the show notes for episode number 118 of Category 5 Technology TV.